to the Sims 4 vampires with this cutie little vampire being right here. I mean, he's looking pretty sad because according to the game, he has five days of a mild breakout, but uh, fun fact, I don't have the acne package in my game, so he's just upset over nothing essentially because you've got such a beautiful flawless skin and he was hoping to give himself a pep talk in the mirror. Probably actually, I'll still let him do that. He can still do that. I mean, he doesn't have a reflection anymore, which is always a fun thing. Must mean that this uh, mirror has a silver backing. Because that's actually, fun fact, that is why vampires could not, could not see the reflection in a mirror. Because mirrors used to have silver backings. And vampires are, of course, weak to silver. Nowadays, with cameras and modern mirrors not being made from silver, vampires would be able to just hide in plain view. Also, selfies. He's also managed to get an extra power point because he went and had a deep drink. As you can see, his thirst is very full. He had a deep drink from Lily Feng. Is she? Okay, she has left, but she was kind of heaped up on the ground here uh, earlier. And here's that Derumk. I'm not sure what you're doing out here. I spy Ethan, Mr. Culinary Man. Either disgusted by the pile of leaves or wanting to play in the pile of leaves. That's always such a thing. I see Mommy Bear, Lily Bear, Lilith has gone for a walk or more of a jog, passing by, keep an eye on her son, who she has no idea is a vampire now. Oh, Sammy B, that's going to be one interesting story to tell the family. But he's got an extra power point, so now I'm thinking, what could we do next? We could give him the ability to turn to a bat, that would always be fun. Give him an imaginary friend. Everyone needs a friend, yes. What if the friend is one of Samuel Blaze's devising and what if it doesn't really exist? No one will be able to tell. Make another sim talk to themselves. That's the hallucination one. It's actually pretty good. Eternally welcome. Gain the power to lock and unlock doors at other sims' homes. Uh, he could, but he's rather a polite person. Or we can stick two points into a cult student where he can start studying vampiric energy and use and sort of conserve it so he'd end up spending less energy for the same effect so i'm thinking we hold on to those points for now and we won't use that yet however tonight it is saturday it's eight in the morning and he's pretty like decent but tonight he's actually going to a house party hosted by dante roman ruby and rowan there's three hours in that house i just realized but he's got to go and um, he's going to the house party. He's been invited by Dante and Dante is like, if you don't show up, you and I are never going to be friends ever. And, you know, when I'm super famous, you will not get invited to all my amazing celebrity parties. So he kind of has to go because otherwise, because, you know, Dante is just dramatic like that. I mean, he was chatting about how happy he is to be hosting the party with Ruby and he was doing it in his underwear because he's literally one of those roommates you would have where they just walk around their underwear and everyone just be like, yep, that's that's Dante. He kind of does that. We're all used to it. I'm just hoping he's going to be fully clothed at the party tonight. I'm hoping the party will work. That's the thing. Because it's a different household hosting it, and because I'm playing as Sammy, I'm hoping that the game will tell me that A, he's going to a party because he's been invited to one, and that he's actually going to be able to get teleported there around 8 o'clock when it starts. So he's got about 11 hours. So he's also going to do some freelancing when he's done. Oh no, he has to get the logo approved. He actually started something and he has to get it approved. Where the hell is this logo? Send to the client for approval because I completely forgot about that. I'm not entirely sure when I started that as well. I think it was... Hey, do you have to... you got to give that by 9 a.m. Sunday, so yeah, do that. Uh, does it meet the standards? You're just going to have to keep editing it. There's your sketch pad. Oh, man. I mean, it's a very interesting looking logo. It looks like a flag or definitely something for an app. I see Marcus, if I'm right. If I'm right. Oh, no, it's Brandt. I'm always getting some of these Sims confused. I don't know. I think it's the maybe they've all got the same freaking hairstyle. But Brandt is currently running through having a nice morning jog before he heads back to Brindleton Bay to his husband and their dog. But Sammy B is full. His thirst should last him the day. His plasma... Okay, that tree's going to annoy me, so I'm going to just quickly sort that out. But his plasma fruit trees are coming in quite nicely, as you can see. That tree might be the reason why. Let's just... 
I was going to say move it over a little clip, so let's, uh... Tell you what, let's just move these over here. Let's just stick them, like, right in the centre of the, um, lot. Because this is quite a big lot when you think about it. So there's actually enough room that he could start, like, planting all all of those little stuff you found in, in Forgotten Hollow. Definitely be planting some of these mosquito things. Okay, we got those done. Let's head back into live mode and let him finish editing that. Hopefully it'll get approved and we can do another job. He got paid pretty well for his forgery job and he's got about four hours of sanguinary satisfaction and maybe he can give Caleb a text if he's around. Just be like, hey, had such a great time with you last night. He hasn't really texted Nate. He doesn't really want to. Especially because he's he's not sure if Nate's still mad at him and he'd rather wait for a text from him first. As you would. I see Brittany Cho once again playing in the stinky pile of leaves because she is weird like that. And also, can't wait until winter goes. We've got like f two more weeks essentially of of fall. Two more weeks of fall. We've got Halloween and I'm kind of hoping maybe that Sammy B might be able to either host a Halloween party at the family house and he can get the family out but I heard you and Caleb are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. <gasps> Lily Bear is just like, Honey, I'm so proud of you for making friends and being such a good and polite person. Just like the boy I raised you to be. And it's like, oh, that's so sweet. He does have a pretty good reputation as well now. I'm just hoping his vampire things aren't gonna... Ooh. Please tell me that's the vampire council with more... um. That's going to be the Vampire Council with more plasma packs, maybe some frogs to turn into plasma packs, or more plasma fruits to plant. Because he does have, now, funnily enough, he does have the first Vampirica Tome in his book. Well, in his inventory, but he's got it on him, which is going to be a good thing, because he's going to need to start learning how to utilize his powers. And actually, it was recommended to him by Vlad, essentially. Vlad was just like, go and get this book. Because you're going to be on a long and difficult road. Is that Jamie Street I spy running through? It is Jamie Street spying running through. Fun fact, when uh, Sammy B was... Hey look, I'm just going to go and let's just have a... Let's just all quickly gaze on the beautifulness that is Abel and his very angry looking eyebrows. <laughs> and okay, if there's any peaches watching this, tag Claire and tell her to come and watch this video. And just a marvel at the fact that Abel exists and he lives on and he is super angry with those eyebrows, but he's also very, very single. She will appreciate that, I hope. And also, if you are watching Claire, hello. But back to what I was saying, Jimmy Street did almost catch Sammy B having a bit of a drink from Lily Feng this morning. Because she was like hanging around and he caught and like Jamie was essentially coming in, I think he was going to the bathroom. And they were over here, and he was compelling for a deep drink because small drinks are good when you're feeling snackish or when you just need to get a little bit quenched. But Sammy B really needed, like, really needed that um, plasma. And it's going down pretty well. I think there is a power that might make his thirst go down slower. There is definitely a weakness that makes it go down quicker. And of course, when he gets to the next part of his uh, vampire training, he will have to take on a weakness. Not sure what one we're gonna give him though, because I'm not sure what he could end up being weak to. Food, maybe. <laughs> he was not liking food during his transformation. All right, you finished that. All right, let's try and get that submitted for approval. And let's hope they like it this time. Otherwise, they're gonna be spending here all day just being like, "What do you want from me?" Oh yeah, he made a portrait at work at a at um the university. It's a flirty painting. <laughs> But it's so simplified, but I called it Portrait of Jamie and Lilith, like he drew, like he drew um, his parents on their wedding day. I'm getting this note every time. It doesn't meet the standards. My god, you people are like... I feel sorry for actual freelance artists who have to deal with clients who are just like, No, this isn't what we want to our specifications. I have fun fact about Abel. He's an archaeologist. I figured because he was an archaeologist, like, kind of initially. Because you can register with the Ministry of Labour now, I figured. We might as well make him a archaeologist. And technically, 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 
Despite how angry he is looking, seriously, look at that face. He's actually a professor of archaeology at Windenburg University. So technically, he is a teacher as well. I'm not sure why he's stomping around. I'm not sure why he's stomping around. I'm guessing he's just had a very bad day. Maybe he got dumped. Abel never has much luck with women. I would suggest hooking him up with uh, one of the other professors, but uh, one of them has just married a student. Which was completely out of my control, because that was MCC's doing. What do you know? They liked it. Approved. Uh, his product logo is having a strange unintended effect. Test subject... Uh, consumers are feeling a sudden and strong emotional bond to the brand and without any prompting from taking it upon themselves to evangelize the product to other sims. This fascinating development has the client thrilled and they've kicked over a bonus payment to Samuel Blaze's way. Oh man, he's at three grand now. Nice. Alright. Let's spruce this house up a tiny bit, starting with the bedroom. Alright, there we go. Nice brand new bigger wardrobe that he can cry in now. A uh, nice new mirror that he can go and look at himself in. A much better one, personally. And nice brand new bed. I did have to move the flag up slightly because it uh, was freaking out over it. And what's this? Now, I like to snoop on the other Sims' personal lives sometimes, but it looks like uh, Victor and Dirk are either old friends or Victor was just like, dude, can I get a hug because you are amazing. Fun fact, Dirk is from The Sims too. I remember he would be dating Angela Pleasant, the teenage girl, the good twin, but his dad always ended up marrying Cassandra Goth because I'd always have it so Cassandra would get left at the altar and then Darren Dreamer would swoop into Cassandra's like arms and be like, I will love you and treasure you forever kind of thing. I can't remember if I ever made them have kids. I know they always got married. That was one thing I always made them do. Alright, you're gonna go and give yourself a pep talk in your nice brand new mirror. He's got five days for mile breaker. I might have to either actually put the buff back in or just start him on a skincare routine just to stop him from feeling like this. But he's still got a good amount of money. Maybe we see what other gigs we can do. Portrait for posterity, deceased relative, politician, Main Street mural, griftgraft be interesting. Silicon Valley startup logos. We're getting all some we're getting some good ones. Indie film <gasps> indie film movie poster or a substitute. Hmm. Let's try an indie movie poster. We gotta do chat clout chat with the client, create some splash art and get that approved. That should be nice and easy to do. And then by the time you've done that you'll be able to be going on um you'll be able to go for to the party. Ooh, that reminds me, we might need to make a new outfit for him for the party. Might be something we have. And I super inspired now. Mostly from his creative trait, but also he had a shared vision with the client, which is always a good thing. He's still like a little cherry red tomato, and hopefully that's going to go away by the time of the party. And he's also sad. Because it hurts when you're using your creativity. Okay, let's see if we can get this splash art approved. And... Where is it? Is it, in it? No, it's that one. Let's send that to. The, oh no, that is the the one I was like trying to think. Was it send that to the client for approval? Last exception. What was that from? And they're pretty happy with that as well. He's got a whole bunch of like images though. He's got this one, which you know what? I like that one. I quite like that one. He can sell that. I'm gonna say create a copy of that and then sell the original. And also, we might have to sell that one. He's got some interesting ones, but he's also got some weird ones as well. Okay, so he's got that. Let's sell the original. And for that one, let's sell this one, not create a copy, because apparently someone wants to buy a child sitting on a dog. But that's actually quite cute. We're going to name this. It's quite poor, but we'll call it into the woods we go. Okay. I'm actually gonna put that up on the wall as well. I love this idea of Sammy when he makes he puts he makes all his art and then he just puts it up all over the 
all over like the walls. Like we got the portrait of like fruit. Aha, he does have a plasma pack. He's got one, so that should hold him over if he gets thirsty at the party. Hopefully he won't need to go and compel for drinks. Hopefully. And he's got about three hours. It is a party, so I'm not sure what he's gonna be wearing. Is that... I see Chadwick has dropped by and Lilith is once again... Once again, doing a run by. Evening run by this time. Why don't you say hi to your professor and just be like, Oh, hey. Hi. What are you doing here? New yet for night? <laughs> it's nice to see Professor Chadwick Chadwick Matthews checking up on him. We're gonna call you Professor Chad because I bet he's that kind of guy who'd be like y'all can call me Chad. Oh. And look who else has turned up. You're a bit, po bit popular aren't you Sammy B? Because oh. uh, Caleb has turned up. Caleb, who, ah, uh, is a gorgeous specimen. He also wears a ring, which is quite interesting. There's a silver, silver band. Uh, so let's also invite Caleb in. This should make, uh, things nice and awkward. Just be like, oh, hey, Professor Matthews, meet oh, my neighbor. Actually, why am I asking you to get to know him? Dude, you're a vampire. You could detect his whole personality. Just do that. I like he has to go into the corner to do this. That's actually very cool. He's also a book worker and creative. Yeah, so who on earth is evil? There are no evil sims abound, because Chadwick certainly isn't evil. And neither is Caleb. They're both creative bookworms. The only thing is, is he's gloomy and he is outgoing. Two very, very different people. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. Technically the party should be starting, but the thing is, yeah, it's not popping up. I could have sworn this does work. I actually checked and did the research to see if house events in other households should work. Don't go reading books. I'm hoping I can just wait and it'll start. Okay, so I was able to kind of get it to work. I had to jump into Dante in order to uh, get the it working to make it act like a house party although it just looks like everyone just sort of chilling out which I guess is kind of the idea for what the party was supposed to be also slightly awkward Sammy P and Dante are literally wearing the same outfit the only difference is I think Dante's wearing a Maxis match version and yes yeah, Sammy B Sammy B is basically wearing an alpha version and is dancing like a little bit of a silly. Currently, but everyone's here. That's Alice. There's. Can't remember which course she's on. Oh, she's one of the other courses. I think that's a club thing. Everyone does the little French kiss. Like, where they kiss each other on the cheek to say hello. Can't help but notice that. Is Nate around? I swore he did turn up. So he's managed to find <laughs> Nate and he's like, hey. Hey, I'm sorry I kind of bailed on you yesterday. You okay? He's still embarrassed. I think this is the Kawaii Stacy mod. Kind of like messing up with things. But they're there chatting. Just being like, hey, I kind of missed you Who yesterday. How huh? have you been? Ah, like, like, oh, it's like, is that so okay? It's like, oh, I just felt so stupid, you know? Like, after you kind of left, I just felt really bad, and I thought maybe I'd upset you. I think my game might slow down. There are a lot of people at this place, at this party currently. Although they're all kind of chilling out in the... in the living room, these two. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, these two are actually, like, the cutest. Look at them. I'm just going to grab a screenshot for the, uh... grab a screenshot for the Peachy's Discord. Yeah, like the absolute cutest. I love him so much. I think is he going to ask him a bit of a question? It's kind of slow now. I think it might be because of the amount of Sims. Oh, those two are definitely. I think yeah, they're about to go and woohoo in the closet right there. A lot of hearts. 
A lot of hearts. Oh my. Okay, yep, yeah, they're doing this. They're doing this. In the closet. In, I think... I think that's Rowan's bedroom as well. Oh, Rowan, I'm so sorry. I don't know where everyone's gone. I think everyone's taken the party upstairs. Yep, they've all taken the party upstairs. Well, that's a good thing. Hopefully no one walks in, because currently Carlos is down here. Carlos is down here just sort of chilling out. Also, I think... Yeah, that's... um. Well, those two are just occupied briefly. That there, angry looking dude, that is Wilma Suarez, who is Nate's roommate. We haven't seen him around because he has been out every time. He has been out every time the, um, oh god, the, the door is literally breaking. He's been out every time they've been, Sammy B's been around, so he hasn't actually met the roommates yet. Maybe he should try and meet everyone else. Poor Ron, completely oblivious that, um, that her room has just been used as Sammy B and Nate's little love den. Also, I think if you look closely, uh, maybe if he opens his mouth again, maybe not, but you can kind of see vampire fangs. Slightly. Everyone's come downstairs now, I think. Everyone leaving. Is it 1am already? Jeez, 1am already and the party's let out. Wow. This is a dull party. Why don't you actually... Ooh, there's an idea. I think she's going off to bed. Uh, maybe, I was going to say, maybe go and um, say hi to her. Love in strange places, and first time, and first woohoo. Sarah B had a very good time, but I think everyone has left before he had a chance to maybe tell... At least tell Nate the... Uh, tell Nate why he was away for the past couple or at least why he was acting a bit weird. Those two have just gone straight to bed. Been dating for like a few weeks and they're already just like, yep, yeah, we share the same bed now. We share the same bed. I think Rowan's gone off to sleep and Ruby is currently up. She's currently up and awake. I don't think he met anyone, did he? He didn't yeah, he did not see many people from the party. He really should have. I kind of wish the party had gone a bit better because I was hoping the event thing would work. But it didn't. Everyone here, yeah, everyone's gone home. It's 2 a.m. The party was slightly dull. A lot away. Sammy B is now back home. No one's around. But he is, he is in a super good mood now. He is in such Ooh. a good mood. And it's, he's only like, like, slightly thirsty. Which is pretty good. That deep drink held him out for most of the day. Took a bit of energy out of him, probably. Currently, there's not much he can do now. He's just like, I had such a good time. What do I do now? I mean, I think the next part is he is. He and Nate have essentially. They're, they're still not like official yet. They're sweethearts now. They're sweethearts now. Maybe he should, in the morning, invite Nate round and maybe come clean. Maybe? Let's see. But now I think you should maybe just get a little bit of rest and just get your energy up. 6.30 a.m. He is up. He is embarrassed. And I'm just going to pause him there. So you can see, even in human form, he has got cute little vampire fangs. Oh, he looks so cute. I love him. I love this little precious bean. Sadly, he is not my precious bean because I did not make this sim. I merely just edited his design again, but I love him. He's so precious. Oh, He's also very embarrassed, which, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get rid of that. And also, he is quite thirsty. It's an overcast day, so there is some slight sunshine. Hopefully, if there's someone around, I so say if there's an unsuspecting passerby, maybe he could have a bit of a drink. He does have the plasma pack in his inventory, so I actually have that. He's got garlic in his inventory, that's probably not good. And also some wolfsbane and those mosquito trap seeds, probably should plant those at some point. And he's almost to the next part of his of his vampire training. Speaking of which, uh, for a little bit, why don't you go and read the book and then around 9.10 uh, invite Nate around and have the talk. 
Coffins keep out all sunlight when close. Samuel okay. Blaze can do something useful with that bit of info. He could get a coffin. Be a bit weird. I think he needs one. Now he can start buying plasma packs. That's what he needs. So there is an alternative method. He's been getting a few of them, and he has... Have you eaten that one? Yeah, you have. He's had that plasma pack, but now he can order plasma packs. He might have to buy, like, a few a week, because I think they're quite expensive. If we check... Oh, is it... Vampires, order plasma packs. Yeah, it's 50... Actually, 50 simoleons. He could buy five for now. There you go. That should keep you occupied for a few days. And now that it's 9am, why don't you go and invite Nate around and you two can have an important conversation and also probably change out of that outfit. Uh, what one should we give you? It's a fairly decent... I could put him in his cute little witchy outfit, but I don't think we need that one. Let's go with uh, the longer t-shirt, I think. It's basically the same as the first outfit, the t-shirt's just different. He's got his plasma packs. He's gonna phone up Nate, be like, hey, you wanna come over and hang out for a bit? Nate Avery will be right over. Now here's the thing. Depending on how this goes, one of two things is gonna happen to Sammy B. Either after this important conversation, he's gonna be a single Pringle, or he's gonna have a boyfriend. It all depends on how this conversation goes. I see Nate is still pretty happy with her last night. Last night. Oh Run god, yep. Oh, and Bobby. It's like, oh hey, let's go inside quickly, I can't stay out in the sunlight long, because if you <laughs> see all the little cinders just popping up off him. Okay, so, I have to talk to you about something important. You know how we had, um, I was, a w I was kind of out of it for a few days and I didn't text you or call you or anything. Something happened that was way out of my control. It seems to be pretty okay. It's just like, yeah, well, things like that happened. Like, what happened that was so bad that you had to go, like, on a, like, a complete mobile blackout for a few days? It's like, well, you know that famous art critic, Vlad? Turns out he's a vampire, and he came into my house a few for, like, a few nights and was sucking my blood out. And then he went and turned me into a vampire. And, like, I was, like, a mess for two days. And that's kind of why I was being a bit weird. Like, I was able to go out in sunlight the other day, but... If you might have noticed, I kind of went outside and I kind of started smoking. Nate's just like, oh, you became a vampire? <laughs> That's kind of cute. That's you're so silly. That's just so silly of you. He's like, I'm not lying. Like, it's an actual thing. Like, I prove it. I can drink your plasma right now. And he's like, you... Like, no, you are not doing that, you weirdo. Seriously. Like, no, keep those fangs away from me. He's like, look, I can prove it. This is my dark form. Sammy B did not want to have to resort to this, but now he has to because Nate's not believing him when he says, like, I'm a vampire now. So he's just compelled him for just a small drink to not take all of his, like, energy away, but enough to make the point. It's like, look, this is hard for me. I just, I, I felt really bad telling you about this, and this is something very hard for me to talk about. And I trust you, and after last night, I really care about oh, yeah, you, and... The last thing I want is to feel this way and end up driving you away from this. And it's like, well, I understand, but you gotta admit this is pretty hard for me to believe. Even if you did just bite me on the neck, it's like, yeah, well, you would be. It was hard to believe as well until I ended up waking up on the floor, two floors down from where my bed is. Chiba, Borba. Okay. Nate said yes. Basically, I think what Sam P has basically told him is if you're gonna be like, if you're gonna be with me, you kind of have to accept this part of me and if you can, maybe we can make this this work. Nate's just now backed off into the corner, I think. It's like, yeah, it's, it's cool. Why don't you two uh, maybe celebrate this sort of community? <laughs> I think he was just complaining about the movie then. It's like, it's like, well, if we're going to be official now, why don't we go and test out my new bed that I bought with some money from a recent job? It's like, I like the sound of that. And with that, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. 
Sammy B. I guess Nate must really like him if he's like, I can get on board with the vampire thing. Just don't go drinking my plasma. And I guess this making them official now. Oh, like, really official, official. This must be a good thing. Sammy B has found someone who accepts the vampire thing slightly. I'm not sure how much Nate believes it, though. I think that his next step would be to tell Rowan. And be like, Rowan, you're not going to believe this, but I'm a vampire. What on earth just happened then? It's going to be an interesting ride, for at least the both of them now. I mean, Sammy B's still crushing pretty hard on Caleb. And I think he's always going to be slightly crushing on Caleb, but Nate's his boyfriend now. And, oh god. It's going to be an interesting ride to see where on earth this goes. And what a point, will this relationship even last? Sammy B... It's going to be hard trying to have a social life and maintain a love life when you can't go out in sunlight without bursting into flames. He went outside, he started like sizzling from the sunlight. So it's going to be interesting to see why does this house keep doing that? It's going to be interesting to see where this goes from here. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching Sims 4 Vampires with the Gorgeous He's Sammy B. Seriously, oh, look how gorgeous he is. I think Nate has, yeah, Nate's heading off now. See, he's taken the whole wham bam, thank you ma'am thing a little bit too serious. But Sammy B now has a boyfriend in the form of Nate. They actually do need to go out on a couple dates for this part of the aspiration. But we'll see how, on, how this will pan out for him. I'm not sure how much, how this will last. It might last. Nate might be totally on board with it. He might not be. And then there's also the thing with Caleb. Caleb's crushing on him pretty hard. He's crushing on Caleb pretty hard. Like, he probably connects with Caleb quite a bit because... Like, look at look at his friendship compared with Nate's. He connects to Caleb a little bit more, but he's just... Like, he's feeling, I think, maybe the, the crush because... Grandmaster Vampire, super cute, super pretty. But he's connected with Nate so well, despite their friendship not being as high. It's just a matter of where we're going to be going with this, and where Sammy B will end up going with this. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye now.